The House of Representatives is investigating allegations of land and housing rocketeering against staff of the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA. These include accusations of forgery and cloning of land documents, illegal and multiple allocations, as well as illegal revocation of titles. Emmanuel Hijer reports is presented from our studios. Abuja real estate is a multi-million naira sector with buildings coming up every day. But these housing investments are overshadowed by the activities of fraud stars, sometimes with the active participation of staff of the Federal Capital Development Authority. This is the reason the House of Representatives set up an ad hoc committee to investigate developers in the capital city. The current housing deficit in Nigeria, which is estimated to be between 17 and 20 million housing units, and also said to be increasing annually by about 900,000 units, the potential cost of overcoming this deficit is also put at about 6 trillion naira. This highlight, this highlight a huge opportunity that exists in the real estate sector. However, there are gaps in the relevant legislation that empowers some real estate developers while they capitalize on this opportunity to also operate with impunity. Work with relevant stakeholders and ministries, departments and agencies of government towards formulating laws issuing guidelines or other appropriate legislation and regulations for more than a trillion naira sector. The chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission is here at a sitting of the House Committee to submit petitions received against staff of the FCDA. Efforts should be made towards improving transparency in mass housing projects by providing workable evaluation mechanism to eliminate corruption generally that dog these schemes. Government should, and as I've said earlier on, at least the current minister has uh, made the effort towards creating data banks of stakeholder experiences, information sharing, in order to educate people who aspire to own land. As the hearing continues, the Minister of the FCT promised to accept the recommendations of the House of Representatives Committee. We'll be able to look at all these issues across the entire value chain, including all the issues raised by the Chairman of ICPC, so that at the end of the day, uh, the committee will guide us through its robust conclusion of the discussions here, so that I think ultimately the whole objective is a way forward. Estate developers, civil society groups, the police and other stakeholders were all present at the hearing. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.